Good day, well wishers. I said in my previous video that if I could have 100 likes, I will post the next uh, solving pass question. And we are having here electrical power 3, EC222. Um, this screw is actually a protecting button. But I ask people from Air Poly, I ask people from Lafspotec, I ask people from Lautech. That is this first question the same as they asked. They said mostly everything looks the same. So if you have someone from all those schools I mentioned, uh, you can try to share this with them so that they can also have a, a good knowledge um, which will help them in passing their exams very well. Okay, let's look for this now. For example, in this question, we are asked to answer just four questions. Number one is compulsory. Let's see what is special about number one. We have to state three advantages and three disadvantages of interconnected power system. State two cause of over voltage. State five objective of port analysis. State four effect of corona. <laughs> Obtain the boss admittance matrix for figure question given the blind admittance. Now this is the boss admittance. Let me show you. This is what they call boss admittance. Yes. Uh, these are boss admittance look like. So we are to calculate, um, obtain the bus admittance for uh, figure, given the lines admittance, uh, the lines admittance minus J3, minus J4, minus J5. So we're going to calculate the bus admittance. You're going to see how we're going to solve this now. And calculate the disruptive critical voltage for a three-phase line with conductor of radius one centimeter and space symmetrically. It took us like two years before we saw this answer. But for you right now that is watching this video, the answers will be dropped fast to you because of you are watching MPL tutorial video right now. Please make sure that this video have more than 100 likes. Share it to those who are going to be beneficial to it. Mm. Um, which, which this video will be beneficiary to, share it to them. And after that, I'll be able to post more, more, more videos. It shows that you are interested in the topics I'm posting. Okay, let's look at other ones, question 2, question 3, question 4, and so on and so on. Let's go to the answers right now. Okay. Okay, stage 3 advantages and 3 disadvantages of interconnected power supply. Number 1, increase reliability of supply. So there's always steady supply of electricity, uh, which, which, which we cannot depend upon. Number two, ensures economical operation. Yeah, and the cost of supply of energy it is usually low compared to when you own, you are you are using a generator uh, or you are making use of any other means of supply of electricity. So the that that that, that is the main under goal of interconnected power supply and exchange of peak lead. Yes. Let's say, for instance, there is one old transformer which is not giving, um, giving its it, it, yeah, its required supply. You can join that old transformer to a new transformer in, in a kind of way that if if uh, the the old transformer go down immediately, the new transformer will pick it up from there and continue supplying to a required time before the old transformer too can still do. It work again, but there is always a standby new 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 transformer to always help the whole transformer. That's what they mean by exchange of peak load. And disadvantages: it required more investment for load control center and automatic control. Number two, it requires more automation, high reliability, and security of each point. Number three, technical for problems of large interconnected power system. Regarding planning, operation, and control are more complex. These things are very, very simple to understand. What you just need to do is just like to read like three or more times for like it, for three days. Like me, when I was in school, what I did practice is that I saw it every day. So it helped me very well as so I got my decision. So, state two causes of over voltage. Um, the two causes of over voltage there is lightning discharge, lightning discharge. Switching, faulty or damaged electrical wiring. We have to state five objectives of fault analysis. 
to determine the minimum and maximum short circuit current, to investigate the operation of protective relays, to determine the weighted rupturing capacity of the breaker, to determine the fault current distribution and bus bar voltage level during fault condition, to determine unsymmetrical fault current for single and double line to line fault and sometimes for general fault current. For you to be able to understand this in the exam, uh, mostly if you are studying like a week before the exam, I will advise you to use code. For instance, all what starts this these five objectives start from T to 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 to, to, to do what to do what. Then if you want to use code, then you know that T started everything, and then you will try to know what's next, what later study next for. For instance, number one is to determine. You can put it as TD to determine the minimum and maximum short circuit current. You understand that I cannot teach you how to read, but you should understand what I mean by using code. Code will help you to remember some of these things very, very easy and eh? without you cramming. Okay. State for effect of corona. Okay. We have audible noise and radio interference. Power lines. Oh, some people will be thinking the corona is. Coronavirus, no, no, no. We also have corona in in electrical power, which which you're going to be looking at very soon. We have number one to be audible noise and radio interference. Number two is power loss in line. Number three is corrosion due to corona formation. Number four, damage to insulator using high voltage. Number five, ammonic current. Flow through resulting from corona formation. Okay, we are looking at the how to obtain our bus admitters matrix for the given line. Okay, obtain the bus admitters matrix for given line admittance. We have the uh, minus J3, minus J4, and minus J5. So at this place, I want to teach us something at admittance. Admittance is means one over impedance. The admittance is that y. The impedance is the z. So for instance, now at y12, y12 means the number that you can find from this place here to this place here. Please let me. <laughs> From this place here to this place, what is wrong now? From this place to this place, from here to here. Okay. So from here to here is right from here to here. Oh, I cannot do it. Okay. From you can see one year from here to here. It is one to one to two. This place here is one to two. Here is one to two, and here is three to two, two to three, three to two, and here is three to one, three to one. I see it. So you can see one here. You can see two here. You can see two here. So for if I'm if, I'm, if I write y twenty one, it's still the same thing with y twelve because it's, it means. 1 to 2 and um, 2 to 1, which is still the same number that is there, which is minus J3. What about if I say Y23? Y23 2 is from 2 to 3, 3 to 2. And because I can say why that means that Y23 is the same thing as Y32. As Y12 is the same thing as Y21. That means from 2 to 1, 1 to 2, from 3 to 2, 2 to 3. And the number that is in Y32 is minus J5. What about Y23? It's still minus J5. Because it means from 2 to 3, 3 to 2. Okay. Uh, what about Y13? Y13 still means Y31. That is Y3 to 1 and 1 to 3. And which is minus J4. For instance, let's look at something here. Y12 is equals to 1 over Z12. Who is equals to 1 over what is ranging from 1 to 2? That is minus J3. That is 1 over minus J3. And if you punch your calculator, 
minus J2 will give us 3 arcs and minus 90 degree. How do we calculate on our calculator? And on our calculator, we have what they call RCL and we have what they call REC. Um, for if you want to know more about this, you can furthermore watch some of my videos on impedance. You have more knowledge about this. We have what they call RCL, we have what they call REC. So if you know how to punch all those things on your calculator, you'll be able to get your angle for your vector quantity. Okay, so final answer here is 0 plus J0.3. We have that for Y13, Y23. If you want me to make a video concerning this alone, I'm going to talk about this. You're going to see me solving it. You can um, you can say this on the on our inbox boss, uh, that is a YouTube comment boss. Uh, once you put it there, I will see how many people are interested in it. If you guys are much enough, I will surely do a video about it. Okay, so from there, we have all this. Now, the only mistake that I found here is that your Y11, Y22, and Y33 supposed to give you minus 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 because your vector is only having j4 minus j3 minus j4 minus j5 it's not having something like minus j3 plus 2 uh -huh, all those things like that but this one is just only plain so it's supposed to give you minus 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 at your y11 y22 and y33 for you to get y11 y11 you have to plus y12 plus y13 you can see that in the y12 and y13 you can see one there and you can see one and that y11 you can see y12 plus y13 when you that means we're going to sum up y12 with y13 what the values you have now i told the y12 is the same thing as y22 and why uh, i say y22 y y21 y12 is it as y21 and y13 is the same thing as y31 in case of you uh, so that they will not miss up but y11 to add that, you plus y12 plus y13. Because y12, you have one there. And y13, you have one there. Okay. That is y12, 1, 2. y13, 1, 3. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. What about if you are giving y22? What are you going to have? You have y21 plus y31. Because you uh, y21 plus y32. Because you can have two, two there. What about if you have y33? That will be equals to y31 plus y32. Because you can have 3, 3 there. You don't have 3 in y22. Or is there any 3 there? No. So I believe you should have that. If you have a question about that, you can still drop it on the comment box. Okay. Um, exactly what they have done so far. So the only thing that is wrong with this question, final answer is that at y11, y22, and y, at this point here, at the at this point here, the y11, y22, and y33 supposed to be minus. Our final answer should be minus, minus, minus at that diagonal point. At this diagonal here, eh? at this diagonal here. So it's not having that. It makes the, the final answer to be called, uh, incorrect. It's supposed to be having like minus j0.55, minus j0.5, and minus j0.45. So that is the only okay. What about calculate the disruptive critical voltage for a three phase line with conductors of radius one centimeter and space symmetrically four meter apart? Mind you, the four meter apart there is the distance space of the meter. Uh, there's no space, is the distance there. The radius given to us is one centimeter. We have to convert it to meter by dividing that one by 100. We have our meter. For that and the formula of, for finding critical voltage is equals to 3 times 10 raised power 6 over root 2 radius in of d over r that is our diameter okay over the radius okay so without if you can input the values you should have your final answer as 127,067.07 voltage as your final answer Okay, if you have that, put that in the comments below.